Thank you, sir. We're plugged directly in. Back of the computer, but it runs downstairs all the way to the back room. This match we're watching here, this is uh, Rashila, or Rash for short, on the table. She is playing Loretta. Here's her little player cards. Uh, waiting to play the winner of another match up here. Um, plug one in, see what happens. Memory Express. Yeah. That's going to be a tough match for Loretta. Rush plays really well. But Loretta plays good as well. It's Then I got to change scoreboards.
It's the same guy. Just keep blocking them all the time. this to that top right there and do you want to let Ben sit down so he can get on the mic? That's pretty close. You might have just the edge of that. Thanks for putting that link up there, Dave. That's the online brackets for anybody who's interested. What's happening, guys? I am back on the microphone, sitting next to Ryan. Oops. So for those that aren't aware or know who we are, I am Grant. Sitting beside me is the one and only Mr. Ryan Epp. And, of course, we thank you for tuning in. Appreciate it. Rash gets the first game. That's a funny looking girl on that other table. That girl's name is uh, Stephen Halem. That's yeah. why that's a funny looking girl. Like, like her haircut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Rash up to break. Comes up dry. Something about this table. Because April uh, April was coming up dry on uh, See, on the I last match. <coughs> this is the one I practiced on a little bit right after I helped Jerry finish the cloth on it. And I was two, three balls on it, nine ball break. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, <coughs> it just. Oh, I think I it has something to do with the magic rack. From what I heard, uh, the magic rack wasn't holding the balls tight. Yeah. <coughs> And, of course, guys, if you can help us out share the stream, we'd greatly appreciate that. Click the share button. Invite your friends, family, share to any of the pool groups you're members of. I got a couple of the Accuracs from Four Bears in my van. Oh, yeah. Should bring them in. Yep. Maybe that'll improve the breaking on that table. Next match, maybe I'll run out and get them and see if they're interested. Sure. Yeah, go ahead. So Loretta kind of digs in and tries to tries to get it done. Got a little lucky, come up come up safe. She might get the outside edge of this. Nice shot. Does it horn? No. Nope. Nope. So she gets uh, gets full ball safe. That is a tough hit. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe she can see the edge. Oh, nice shot. Really nice shot. That's a full ball there. It is, but Although I mean off the off rail. Top yeah, rail. off that off that rail is an easy hit. All right, now we're talking. Now we're talking full ball and distance. Oh, 
Oh, nice hit. Nice hit, Loretta. And again, full ball with distance. Three kick yep. safeties in a row, yeah. So this could be a jump, jump kick. Jump over the eight ball, one rail, kick into the one ball. But it can be dangerous there too. You can go into... Uh, Just looking at the little swerve or mass A Yeah, a right little mass A around the five ball. Again, have to be careful. Oh. I was going to say, yeah, these oh. new cloth slides a little bit. She That's took, bad. dang, there took the paint off of that. Nice effort. That three ball is going to be tough getting down there to, you know, I think it goes to either one of those pockets down there. Uh, three will go to the top left. It'll pass the eight. It's more the one to the two and then try to get shape. You almost have to go underneath this four ball, maintain uh, just a little bit of angle to take that two ball into the, into the side pocket. Now it's tough. Now it's gonna be tough to get to that three ball. Almost better off playing safe here. Costa, how are you, buddy? Yeah, that was always going to be tough to get to that three. I think I was a fan more of, uh, of playing the safety there. How does she hit it? Does she have the weight? Nope. Came up short. Nice kick. She can see the full ball, but not much to, no easy place to put it. Yeah, I should just leave it down on the bottom rail here. Take the three ball, one rail, almost like you're long banking. Control that uh, cue ball, hopefully behind the eight ball. But uh, if not, just create the distance. Leave that three ball center ball or center table down at the end here. She goes for it. Danny, how are you, buddy? Been a long time so, since I've been on the mic with, uh, with you tuning in. That's more my fault than anybody's. Uh, been oh, keeping my nose stuck in my phone doing player profiles for their... Uh, for most of this event so far. I think I spent about a half hour on the microphone yesterday. Everything's wide open for her here now. She got that lucky kick with the five on the side there. And another luck on the seven there. Hey, yeah, uh, careful. Well, she'll have to put a stroke on the six ball here. Or is it the four ball sitting up top no, first? No, that's the six. Six, 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 six and eight? eight? Okay. Six, eight, nine, yep. Couldn't tell whether that was the eight or the four ball up there. Three, Three rails. rails. Nice. Three rails, That's go. Three, three shots in a row, she's fluked the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes good to be lucky and yeah. lucky to be good. Uh, Danny, 50-50 last night total was uh, 700 and... It was eight something, I think, wasn't it? Was it eight something? Yeah. How much was the total? 975, that's right. Almost a thousand bucks. Uh, was won by, um, oh, oh. what's her name? Was claimed in-house here. Uh, yeah, Dave's got a picture. Uh, Raquel. Yeah, Raquel is the winner, or Rochelle, one of the two. Yeah, you can't, can't really watch soccer when there's pool going on, whether it's the World Cup or not. So Loretta with a chance to uh, 
steal this game. Oh, wow. I'm surprised that went in. Usually when it rubs its feet like that, it's not going to go. Those diamond, uh, diamond tables have tight pockets. So she hit that at the right weight in order for that to go. Ryan's playing again. Yep. You know when Ryan's playing because he goes very, very quiet. <laughs> <laughs> he does. This, this came up on, on my memories <laughs> that I shared on my Facebook here. Uh, as soon as Ryan two, goes quiet, years ago. yeah. As soon as you go quiet, you know there's something, something going on. Well, here's for all the non-soccer fans out there. Uh, Rashila is going to get a little bit lucky here to get safe on the one ball. So it looks like uh, looks like Loretta is going to go up and over, get some air time. <laughs> you got to be very descriptive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I was, no, I was, tr I was trying to. I tried to hit space, but. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. One job, Ryan. One job. So let's see. Loretta is going up in the air. Great shot. Very, very nice shot. And you got to update their scores now. Oh, yes. So. This new program. Yeah. Well, it takes, you know what, it'll take us a little bit of getting used to, but uh, overall, I think it'll work a little bit better for us. Yeah. So we are looking uh, at uh, Kyoko and uh, Laurel Rain. They're looking at getting started here pretty quick, so go to the split screen. This Kyoko. Her neat story there. I don't know if you want to. Yeah, she uh, is from Japan. Um, there was actually two from Japan that came over. Uh, one was accepted to go through uh, customs right away, and Kyoko was actually held back. Um, so she reapplied, uh, but missed her flight uh, to come here on Thursday. Um, reapplied. They denied her again, so she missed the flight to come here on f uh, Friday. Uh, reapplied and tried one last time and uh, finally uh, was accepted and uh, knowing that she was going to lose out on the A side be put to the B side she still decided to come out and fly out all the way from Japan to try to battle it out on the, on the B side so this will be her first match on the stream we welcome her wish her all the best of luck and you know what for uh, for Flying in all the way from Japan to battle it out on the B side, good honor. Yeah, and she won her first match, so yeah, this will be her second match straight. But yeah, only issue is, I mean, we can we we can say good luck, but I have to root for Laurel. Laurel's uh, uh, that's Stevens. Stevens uh, better half. Stevens, yeah, definitely uh, better half. Um, so I have to root for Laurel. Um, 
Hey. Grant's tenants. Yeah. Yeah. Rent, rent. <laughs> yeah. Rent is due. So quite a quite a good story from wow. uh, from Kyoko. Want to bet? I don't know. January wants to bet. Next match. Yeah. So it looks like Laurel's going to win ben, the leg ben, here. Ben will take, uh, take you for five bucks on this one, January, and ten on the next one. If she wins. Yeah, Kyoko's uh, quite accomplished. I yes. was actually talking down uh, with Paul Pache. It's been her. Uh, been, been her. 20 years, I guess. Yeah, been uh, her protege, uh, his protege for, uh, for quite some time. Uh, she's got too many titles to even mention back in Japan. So, uh, very accomplished player. So we welcome her for the first time on uh, on Q Sports Live. Definitely, yes. You're going to do that. Who was taking five bucks? Who was betting ben. five bucks? Ben. ben. Minimum transfers ten bucks. Yeah, that's why I told five and ten on the next one. Oh. Yeah. Or we can just pay up in Saskatoon. Yeah. Okay, he says uh, you guys can just pay up. Uh, in Saskatoon. Yeah. He says he sent you a message. Yeah. Ben just said if he wins, he's going to charge you interest all the way to he comes <laughs> sees you in Saskatchewan. He sent you a message, January. So I believe it's Laurel at the table breaking. I think she won the lag. Beautiful break. Wing ball into the corner pocket. Tough luck on the one ball, though. Yeah, she can push out from here, though. Yeah. How far along is she? She's due in August. Due in August, so. Yeah. A couple of months. Yeah. She's playing doubles against. Uh, she is, yeah, doubles against uh, Kyoko. Kyoko, yeah. Baby needs some crib money. Yes. And some diaper money. January, just message Ben. He sent you a message. Thanks, James. <laughs> yeah, I'd love for you to send us beer. Nah, I'm kind of a hard liquor guy. I'll I'll take uh, spice rum. Bottle of Captain Morgan's. Bottle of Captain Morgan's would be just about perfect. Then we'll stream Grant with his captain's pose. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we'll take that, James. You can send that up to us. We're in for that. A little bit of Captain. And not Captain Crunch. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That was nice One beat. ball yeah. wiped its feet but had the perfect weight. We got it in Moretta with the nine ball combo. Just dropped. Uh, except that was a foul. foul so it gets yeah. spotted. Oh, I didn't. I just caught the nine wagging its feet and dropping. Mojitos here in Wisconsin. Oh, let's go there. Mojitos, that's the way to do it. Those are good drinks, too. I don't know if Wisconsin's got, got a nice beach, though. No, but uh, if you have enough mojitos, you won't need to worry about whether they have nice beach or not. <laughs> 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 
January says deal, Ben. He said deal. Yeah, he missed. Okay. And he said he'll play your race to nine for 500. <laughs> Jason. <laughs> yeah, asking a big price uh, on the East Coast. A bottle of Captain will hire a carpenter to build a house, winter's firewood, etc. Nice. Actually, some really decent beaches in Wisconsin. I can't say that I've ever been, James. I've, I've not been down to Wisconsin. No, nope, neither have I. But for yourself and anybody else that's tuning in, watching, that uh, is running any kind of a, a, an event or knows somebody that's running an event, uh, we have a truck. We'll travel. We'll go just about anywhere. We've been as far east as uh, Toronto, uh, down south uh, only as far as uh, Four Bears, North Dakota. But we will be in, uh, in Texas. Yeah, we have we have the truck. We're working on a jet, so. Yeah, need a few more donations for the jet, though. Yep. So we'll see if uh, Kyoko has the. Oh wow, it must be a little more forgiving on the left table. No, well, with the. Uh, Right, because she, with, she, with, had with that, the, with the, she had that good. With the new cloth on the rails, they're in there and they slide. No, but, but, but the table on the right's not gobbling them up like that. Well, there's a day right, in, she there's hit a, that. She hit a, that good. Day, the cloth on the left-hand table is a day and a half older. So I don't know if that's making a little difference. It could, yeah. Or it could be a it's, slight difference in the pocket shim. Yeah, we did the... Yeah, James, we've actually got a bid going in for the one in Chicago for the NAPT. We'd love to do the Montreal one as well. Oh, absolutely. We you know what? We, we actually really enjoy what it is we do. We love to travel. We love to meet everybody. Um, we'll go just about anywhere. Oh, yeah. Right? We, there are times we have uh, a couple of, uh, of uh, regulars tuning in from St. Lucia that uh, made the offer for us that if we ever wanted to go out uh, to St. Lucia, um, we can stay at his place, he'll turn a uh, tourist around the island and so on and so forth. So uh, one of the things that we get to do is uh, definitely travel around a bit and we really enjoy it. We're here to support pool and this game no matter where it is. Most definitely, yes. James, you're on the NAPT Board of Directors. You could be a guy to talk to then. Yeah. Then just hit the approve button when we send in, yeah. send in, our, send in our proposal and we're good. We're, then we're there. We can run uh, four Sony 4K cameras, uh, four webcams, and then have a couple of remote cameras as well. Yeah, so we can do quite a bit. Yeah. I know we were, talk we were talking with Denise about some of that stuff. She was mentioning some of those. Yeah, uh, Denise uh, Belanger is on the board as well um, in Toronto. So uh, she's rooting for us. So we've got two of you anyway. Two of us, uh, two of the board pulling for Q Sports Live. Just take, take the rest of the board a bottle of Captain Morgan's for us. That's right. And then do the, the vote. Wheels, and yeah. then, you know, and when they pass out, then just click the yes button. Yeah. And we're good. But we, we really enjoy it. We love to travel. We love to, uh, to do what it is that we do. And really, the, the credit goes to you guys, right? Without you guys tuning in, it's just, you know, Ryan and I sitting up here with microphones on talking to ourselves. It's really yeah. nothing special. So uh, everything that we do, it is for you guys. This is why our streams are always free. Uh, there is no charge. Never has been, never will be. We don't believe in that business model, so... Well, nice Ooh, effort. Oh, safe. wow. Oh, Almost. Not. not quite. Yeah, that would be a good one, Sean. 
We'll try and figure out a way to make that happen. It's actually a really good idea. Nice effort from Kyoko there. Yeah, I'll figure out a way to make that happen. It's a good idea. Nice shot from Loretta on the right-hand side there. Hit that really well. I think she got a little unlucky. I don't think she gets to see the four ball at the top left side of the table there. Oh, don't go into. Awesome. Thanks, Danny. We'll make sure you get your tickets. Yeah, the Kyoko's, uh, I mean, she's, she's a champ. She's got too many titles back in Japan to even try to mention. Um, but she is a champ. There's no doubt. But uh, Laurel's very first match was down 6 nothing. Came back to win Hill Hill. So you can never, ever count that girl out. Jordan from Wisconsin, what's up? Yeah, Sean, we'll figure out a way to make it happen. But I know uh, I saw Laurel when she was walking in. She said she's uh, she's tired, and rightfully so. She's uh, well on her way in her pregnancy. Seven she is due, yes, yeah, to do in August. So yeah. I can understand her being a little bit tired. Mm. What's going on, Brian? How are you, buddy? Thanks for tuning in. And guys, once again, if you can help us out, share this stream, we would certainly appreciate it. Um, we'd love to be able to support the ladies. That can only happen if you help us out and share. Um, we want to be able to support pool at all levels, uh, regardless, male, female, amateur, pro, and everywhere in between. Uh, we just want to be able to support it. So uh, this tournament's all about the ladies. Let's give them some love, help them out, share the stream, share to any of the... Uh, Pool groups that you're members of, invite your friends, families, even if you think they're not going to enjoy it, you just never know. 1,996 on YouTube. Four more people. People, we need four of you. Go on to our YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button. We need four of you to do that. Once we hit those 2,000, that'll give us some work to do this week. We're going to put those 2,000 people into a draw. We're going to give away a free cue to the winner. Make sure that when you do hit the subscribe button that your settings are set to public, not private. If they're set to private, we can't see that you've subscribed. So it is for a free, free draw for Q. As soon as we hit that 2,000, it is those 2,000 people. They will go into the draw. And we need four people. So the next four people that go on there, you will be entered into that draw. No cost to you guys. That's just our way of saying thank you. We appreciate you tuning in. You are correct, David. She has won many, many, many titles. Thanks, Mike. We certainly appreciate you tuning in again. And I didn't see who won that. Uh, who won that last game? Do nothing for Kyoko. Uh, yeah, Val's still in it. She's. Uh, She'll be on the stream at six there you go. She'll be on the stream tonight at six o'clock against Vivian Villarreal. Okay, I can do one side right now for shooting. Loretta has two on the score. Be 
beauty. Elise right on. Looks like we've hit our 2,000. I'm going to double check that just to make sure. Not that it's that's just the easiest. It doesn't look that great, but that's all I can come up with quick. Yeah, <clears throat> that's as good as it gets for now. We have hit 2,000 subscribers on YouTube. Congratulations, everybody. If you were within that first 2,000 subscribers, you will be put into the draw automatically. We will do that draw on our next broadcast. I believe that'll be Friday night. Yep. Friday night at uh, Leather Pocket from Calgary. And if uh, as soon as Ryan's done playing on the computer, I can get back to commentating. Four to two for Rosh. So Laurel shooting at the five ball, a little bit of distance. She's going to have to uh, be sure of her stroke here. This is Loretta now. Yeah, I'm just. Bear with him, guys. He is still, still trying to, here. yeah, still trying to play around with it. So you'll see that. Uh, Point eight. Just got to put them on different layers so I can control them all at different times. Well, and <laughs> get him, Barry, and oh. thanks, Charles. We appreciate it. Couldn't happen without all you guys. We certainly appreciate you tuning in. There we go. All right. Ryan thinks think he's I good to it. go. Yeah. <clears throat> and a nice shot from Loretta there. Buries the two ball. And it looks like Kyoko's going to go up 3 0 against Laurel. Uh, Loretta at the table on the other. Other table. Sean owes me a drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, Ryan's, uh, Ryan's got his work cut out for him here. What's that? Being in control of these little arrows oh, yeah. that you got. Lots add and clear, add and clear, add, yeah. I wish you all the best of, the, uh, of luck with well, this. You're taking over in two no, minutes. No, oh. no, 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 no. Rash taking a shot at the two ball, just missed that. She was only off that by a couple inches. Nice effort. Kyoko at the table on the left screen. Cutting the one ball, shaping up the three. 
I'm actually going to have to pay attention to what's going on now. Look yeah, this. it's exactly correct. Going so off she got a little bit on the. Uh, yeah, she got a little yeah. bit on the wrong side of the three ball here. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. <laughs> yeah, you'll do that when we're playing you, right, Sean? Nice shot. So it looks like Kyoko's kind of getting into the groove, yes, right? Well, she's only had three hours sleep in the last two days. Yeah, she's been trying to make her way jet here. Jet-lagged, oh yeah. It's so she is extremely jet-lagged, but she's looking good. She's looking confident at the table. Uh, her first match was a little bit tentative, but she's uh, she's doing well. Yeah. Three for Loretta. Loretta plays good. She does play good, but then Rash is at the table, Kyoka's at the table. Yeah, they're both on the B side, Barry. I would assume that, uh, yeah, they do. But I mean, you've got you got so many good players on the B side. Bonnie oh, Clowman's yeah. on the B side. Emily Duddy's on the B side. Right, there's so many very, very, very talented ladies here. We don't have her player card done up, but what would everybody's uh, guess be at Kyoko's age? That I don't know. I know it. You do know? Yeah. Take a quick guess, you'll be a surprise to a lot of people. Um, I know Joanne, just Joanne is still in. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if Bev is still in. I know she lost Emily Duddy yesterday. Is Joanne still in? Yeah, Joanne's still in. Yeah, both twins are in then. Yep, yeah, April's on the B side. April is on the B side. The B side's looking dangerous. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Joanne Ashton will play the winner of, uh, of La, uh, Rash and Loretta. Uh, that's, yep. Yeah. Oh, Loretta just misses. Rash will be at the table. Kyoko with a bank shot here, looks like. Yep. Or is she thinning it in? Oh, no, she's banking. Dude, the Z bank. The like Z it. bank. Perfect. <clears throat> she knows she's on the stream table. Well, Comes yeah, with the well, Z bank. Yeah, exactly. Well, nines are wild. They can go in any pocket. You don't have to call it. Thanks, David. There is uh, the link for the updated. Draw sheets. Yep. Yeah, Ky no troubles at all there, Tony. Kyoko was 46, I was told. 46, she wow. She looks a little younger than that, but. She sure does. <clears throat> Loretta's at the table. Lorel's at the table. Yeah, I wish you all the best of luck in uh, <laughs> making that all happen. It's tomorrow. Yeah. Looked like another nice break from Laurel there. She did make a ball. She's got. Uh, Full shot at the one ball. Yeah, for sure, Greg. That's uh, something we've kind of been doing now for a few months is the split screen. It's not always applicable when you're playing uh, singles, but uh, in this case, we want to be able to showcase as many ladies as we can. Oh, took a swing at the nine ball. Nice effort from Laurel and get safe.
Rash with the combination, controls the seven ball. She might be a little straight though. No, she's got angle. I think she can go two rails out here for shape on the nine. <laughs> I think Rash went a little bit far there, but uh, shouldn't be any issues here. Um, you know what? I'm not sure whether they're going to go that far or not. From what I hear, um, it is pretty strict rules, so I would imagine that would be the case. But I don't know. Uh, at this level, you're not going to get too many uh, too many ladies that call that. Uh, and the three ball or uh, three foul rule is also in play. Three. Rash takes it on the right hand side. Laurel's at the table, shooting at the four ball on the left screen. And Ryan just took that away, so I can't see that either. Can't see what? I can't commentate when you uh, take away the uh, screen. Hey, there we go. Kyoko's now at the table. <clears throat> On the left-hand side. Just under hit. That will leave the four on for Laurel. Scratch on the break. For Loretta. From Loretta, yeah. So Rash at the table on the right-hand screen. <laughs> what happened to the uh, to the player markers? Greg wants to know. They're busy. Oh, he says they're busy, which means Ryan got tired of trying to keep track of things. <laughs> That's what that means. <laughs> um, it's it's really tough to do in uh, in nine ball, eight ball, especially when you got to do it manually. I've I've got an idea that could work, but that's another investment that at this point, I'm not willing to put out yet. But I do I do like the idea. Yeah. We'll figure out a way to make yeah, it. Yeah, that's just what I, all I could come up with real quick. Yeah. So. So Kyoko at the table now shooting seven ball. Seven's gonna go into the right hand side. She'll come up two rails. Have the eight into the bottom left-hand corner. Oh, she's Test going two rails even farther out. It's testing that line ball out. I'm gonna put your face on there and do that. I didn't even see what you were doing. That's I'm good. trying to Perfect. I'm trying to commentate, and you keep doing your fiddling. <laughs> I'll tell you, you're like you are like a kid in a candy store. Hey, we got a new you get program. a new gotta, program, gotta and figure out some stuff to have fun with. Yeah. Right, but you're like a big kid in a candy store. You can't stop fiddling. Nope. So Kyoko scores again. Five nothing lead over Laurel. You want to uh, maybe adjust the score? There's uh, it's Tidler Live that we got that sports package. Well, it's got yeah. that thing, but we, it's too pricey at the moment. Yeah, we just uh, we just put out a whole bunch of money, so uh, we're gonna we'll wait on that, but we'll we'll find a way. Yeah. Where there's a will, there's a way. We'll make it happen. And Loretta with the win on the other table here, keeping it close. Yeah. Ben's got five bucks. 
Oh yeah, keeping it in the run. But well, didn't Ben say he was spotting Ben two games? Was that Kyoko that just broke that? Wow. That was a nice break. She breaks better than I do. Yeah, she breaks better than I do. Uh, you can't With a break, shot on the two. Can't break the new toy. I was going to let Grant If he that. breaks the new toy, I might break him. I was going to let Grant break it by plugging in one of the cameras. <laughs> Wow, another great break on that other table. Three balls. Three balls on that right-hand table. Oh, nice shot there. Nice shot from Rash there. Just thin that one ball really nicely. She might have the edge of that. But oh, she's got the edge of the one ball, but it was a nice shot. And I believe it's Kyoka at the table shooting the four ball. Up one rail. Five to the top right hand corner. And she sh probably just comes straight back for the seven ball. Just off one rail, maybe a touch of left hand. She could go around two rails too. He wanted a little more than that. He's got a little bit lucky to, with that rub off the eight ball. Uh, we can just add a lot of cameras. There's a lot of graphics and more yeah. cameras we can add. And yeah, the graphics package is uh, really, really, really good. We're just, just kind of getting accustomed to how all of that's happening um, and how to work with it all. But... Uh, yeah, the cameras we can add a lot more with the with the system we had before. We had a custom tower built, and uh, we can run four Sony 4Ks. We can run four webcams, and then use our cell phones as a remote camera as well. So, um, yeah, we're just going to be able to cover a lot more and be able to show a lot more. So that's why you see all the graphics, and this is why Ryan's a big kid in a candy store right now, is all of the different graphics that we can do and put up. Yeah, and I've just spent the last few days learning how to do them here. Just got this program on Tuesday. Yeah, so. we upgraded it. So uh, we had the uh, the Wirecast Pro version 6 or something, uh, and this, this is, is the latest at number 9. Yeah. yeah. And it came with a... Blue FX Titler Live, and that's all the graphics you see. But the biggest thing that's rougher on us is the upgrade of this Wirecast has changed a bunch of the functions. Yeah. And the way it operates from what we used to have it. So yep. we're still learning the. This is why I'm not touching it right now. Um, I haven't way. spent any time with it. Um, my day's mostly been with my nose stuck in my phone doing up player profiles. So. Um, Today's been the most time I've actually spent on the yeah. microphone, so. Ziggy, what's going on all the way from the UK? Coming by way of Nottingham. Appreciate you tuning in. That could come down the road. That can definitely come down the road, Sean, yeah. Uh, same setup as at ACS with Ve uh, in Vegas with camera mounts on tables, etc. Yeah, uh, except a lot more. Unless you're talking, that was uh, that was TV, TV Mike, Mike down yeah. there. Yeah, we yeah. we got a little different setup than him. Uh, yeah, a lot a lot different setup. Yes. And Laurel just seems a little bit off this morning. <clears throat> but she did mention that when she walked in that she wasn't, didn't feel very rested. Uh, oh. Yeah, yeah, she's kind of, yeah, she's kind of keeping, uh, keeping Laurel in the chair.
Yeah, we're going to try to do, like, uh, I kind of mentioned this earlier on, there's a lot of different streaming companies out there. There's TV Mike, there's On The Wire, there's Roy's Basement. There's a lot of these guys out there, and we certainly appreciate every one of them, right? We think competition is a good thing. Anything that supports this game, I can't. Yeah, and I watch most of those guys, yeah, too. Yeah, I can't, I can't argue with what it is that they do. Um, but uh, some of those guys out there, really, 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 really good. Um, love watching their streams. They're really good at selling, uh, you, you know, selling the sizzle on their stream. Um, but when it comes right down to it, we are the stake. We are the largest. Uh, we want to continue to to be innovative with what it is that we do, uh, the stuff that we bring. Uh, this is why I mentioned earlier we've got we got so many fires or irons in the fire right now um, that come fall time when we start releasing some of the stuff that we've got coming out um, it's going to take us again to a whole new level what we do how we do what we do it's just going to take us to a new level so stay tuned for it that's for sure uh, all of that stuff is coming down sometime around uh, October ish October November yeah. six four. And guys, uh, we do have our 50-50 draws going as well. Uh, if you do want in on those, let us know. We'll make sure you get your tickets. Um, it was 900 and... It was all, yeah, 975 yesterday. Yeah. Uh, should, be, uh, should be a fairly good one today too. So if you do want in on that, you can email transfer if you're in Canada. QSportsLive at gmail.com is the address. Nice kick from Kyoto there. Um... If you're outside of Canada, use PayPal, paypal.me forward slash QSportsLive. Right on. Thanks, Andrew. Appreciate it, buddy. We're trying to, Greg. Yeah, we're definitely trying to. We've been talking with, uh, with TJ there, and uh, hopefully we can make it happen. We'll be down, uh, we'll be down there the weekend prior. Um, We'll be in uh, Niagara, Falls. Niagara Falls for the uh, APA border battle. So it's not that far of a leap to go from there to Halifax to, to cover that event. So uh, we are in, in the process of talking with, with TJ about that. Oh, nice shot from Laurel. Does she get the weight to get behind the three? She does. Oh, she's perfect. Really nice shot there. Nice containment. Yeah, it really is, James. And that's that's kind of where we're, we're thinking, you know, that... Uh, competition's always going to be a good thing. There's going to be things that they push us to kind of continue to be the innovators, the creators, uh, to kind of maintain our spot, right? Right now we are number one in North America as far as uh, followers on Facebook, uh, and we want to continue to be that, right? Uh, we're here to support this game at all levels. It doesn't matter whether it's amateur pool, ladies pool, pro pool. We're here to support it no matter what the event is. Um, and I think that makes us a little bit unique. I think the closest one to kind of our, our system and our way of doing things would be on the wire creative media. That's Raw Hannah and Bo. They do an amazing job. They're really, really good. And we, actually the great thing I was gonna say with them is Raw came on yesterday and said, great screen, great stream. Yeah, absolutely. And we do the same. We're we do the same, same, right? You guys yeah. are doing great. It's, uh, we have the same kind of business platform. There's a few, a few things that we've got coming down that I'm not, I'm not gonna share at this point. Um, but there's a few things, like I said, we got some, some iron in the fire that, uh, you know, will be coming out kind of in that October, November time frame. And once that comes up, it, it's just going to put us onto a whole new level. Um, and we, we continually want to be the innovators, the creators, the, the ones that keep coming up with the new ideas and the new ways of doing things and so on and so forth. And not that we care that people kind of borrow those ideas from us. We don't care about that. 
And I think the biggest thing we've done in great on our part is we've done all this with pretty much just doing amateur pool. Yeah, of course. I mean, those guys down in the States, they got a little bit of an advantage. They got a lot of the pros. I don't They're think it is an advantage, Ryan. I really well, don't. Just with gaining their followers and well, sure. a bunch of people on. I mean, sure. free viewership. Yeah. I mean, but we're doing great with all you guys following us. It's awesome. With, uh, But we do have some top-level pool in Alberta here. Yeah, of course. We're, and we're and, and that's that where way. we're lucky yeah. that way. Um, as much as they get the pros, every, every stream that we do, no matter whether it's a uh, Friday Night Leather Pocket or what have you, there's always good talent in the room, right? Mm -hmm. So in that regard, yeah, we're kind of lucky there too. Now, they're not, you know, Roberto Gomez, Shane Van Boning, uh, you know, they're, they're not the big names that draw the 5,000 viewers. I know they, they just hit 5,000 viewers and, and so on and so forth. Um, but we like what it is that we're doing. We have our way of doing things and we're here to support this game. And I think our followers can appreciate the fact that uh, we're here at every level. It doesn't matter whether it's just a pro event. And from what I see on the wire, that's what they do. They, I mean, that's their, that's their bag. They have enough pro events down in where they're, they're from uh, that they can, uh, they can do that, yep. right? So I think we have the advantage that way. Well, and I like with us commenting, we love interacting with you guys and answering questions. And I mean, that's, we're a little, we're a little different than the big, big companies that are streaming the pool, like the Moscone Cup and stuff. I mean, they're doing it online, but they don't answer the, the questions you guys have or interact. Yeah. Well, that's the, I think that's one of the things that make us uniquely different uh, is the fact that, yeah, I, I mean, as much as we're here to commentate on pool, um, we do interact with our audience. And I think that we do that more than any other streaming company out there. I think that's one of the things that make us very, very unique in that aspect. It's going to be tough for Loretta to get that by. Yeah, Sean, you're 100% yeah, sure. correct. You look at, at a guy like uh, Efren Reyes. Uh, he was in the middle of a tournament um, and was almost late and almost disqualified out of the tournament in one of the events he was playing in uh, because he'd go down, you know, go down to the local pool hall. He'd be watching the amateurs play. Yeah, he lo he got, and he was saying he always learned something every time he yeah, watches. Well, yeah, well, and that's where he got a lot of his inspiration from because amateurs, they're not set in the same patterns. They're not set with the same routines that, you know, when you get up to a pro level that you're set in. So A lot of those amazing trick shots and yeah, kick shots, everything he does. He learned all of that amateurs, from the amateurs. Because the amateur will try that where the pro is going to play safe or play something different. Thanks, Brian. Appreciate that, buddy. Yeah, I mean, Ray, you're, you're, you hit the hit it right on the head, right? Uh, amateur pool can get pretty boring to watch. It's just run out after run out after run out yeah. after run out, right? There's no creativity. Um, and I, I'm, I'll say that with a grain of salt because they can pull off some pretty creative stuff. Yeah. Um, but when you, when you take the greatest of all time, in Efren Reyes in that that's where he got his inspiration from was amateur pool and some of the shots that amateurs would come up with, that tells you a little something something. You know what I mean? So there's our there's our little tangent. Yep. Rash off came of up pool. A, a little short to get behind the nine, but that's still containing really nice. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, Danny. That's, uh, it's rough. It's rough. The Calgary pool scene is uh, a little bit hurt this week. A lot hurt this week. Yes. We lost, uh, we lost the grandfather of our, of our pool scene. So we certainly appreciate it, Danny. Mr. John Mora. Hey, John. Buddy, how, how are you? Thanks for tuning in. I, kept, I keep forgetting to text you, John. My apologies. Yeah, Sean, and that's, that's why I say, right, when, when you 
when you start to understand that the greatest of all time, Efren Reyes, he used to get his inspiration and a lot of his uh, artistic ways of doing things from amateur pool. Um, that uh, that's just the way he was. He'd go and and almost miss his match in a tournament because he's over watching the amateur pool players play. That's where he got a lot of his inspiration. A lot of the the shots that kind of he can come up with is from amateur pool players. <laughs> we can we can certainly try to tell her to yeah. Costa, but I I've learned not to mess with a seven month old pregnant lady. Seven month old, seven month long. Seven month along, yeah, yeah. Uh, pregnant lady. That's that's not something you and, do. No, and uh, she does live in. She does rent a room off a of grant there. She so does. He, yeah. He sees her, her all and, the time. Uh, and her and Stephen live with me, and I'd rather not make her mad at me. Yeah. Having <laughs> a, a a pregnant lady mad at you is never a good idea. Yeah, Danny, we'll we'll get those done. We went off on kind of a tangent there, and uh, but we will get them to you. Yeah, and that's something you don't see every day today, James. Right? It's kind of evolved to the point where uh, you know we've, we've certainly done enough streams especially down at four bears where um, you you don't get to see a lot of players that are sitting there watching and whether it's pros watching amateurs and amateurs watching pros it's not the same as when I was young when I was young and kind of coming up through the ranks uh, my favorite thing to do was to go and watch the pros or, yeah. or the masters play right that's how I learned to get better and, and kind of how they work the table and controlling the cue ball and so on and so forth. And you just don't see that nowadays. Morell's on the board, one, one, one game. Yeah, 100%, Edward. There you go, John, yep. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, no doubt, we appreciate it. The one and only Mr. John Mora. Yes. Mr. Smooth himself. Appreciate you tuning in, John. <laughs> yeah, James, I remember those days, man. And I, I stayed at... Uh, uh, it wasn't the Riviera. There was what? What was the one beside it? La Concha. Yeah, yeah it was the La Concha. One in behind, that yeah. was my first. Yeah, yeah, that was my first trip to Vegas. That was, was mine staying, as well, in, yeah. staying in the La Concha Hotel, man. And I'll tell you, that was in. The, I was in the B level, and we we walked through everybody here in Calgary to win our trip, and uh, we had no idea what Vegas was going to be like. We had heads the size of five basketballs, thinking we were going to do some damage. And we got down to Vegas, and man, did we ever get schooled. We were two and out in a heartbeat. Well, that's the same with me. I it was back in 95 when I first went down. And yeah. They had first place got a flight down. We got an RV rented for us. So we had spot to park in the RV, or the Circus Circus RV park, and a room in La Concha in behind playing in the Riviera. Same yeah. thing. We finished. There were 73 teams. This is in Ted's league. Way back, BCA. Yeah. 73 teams. We finished 72nd after the regular season. Yeah, yeah. Finished third in playoffs. Holy. Got the trip. I went down with a bunch of 40-year-olds. Yeah. And I'm just 21 at the time. And same thing. Get down there. And my eyes popped out of my head. And we're like, yeah, we're going to win, win, win. We came up against a bunch of retired guys from Florida. <laughs> we won the first four games. They had a little meeting. Yeah. And we lost everyone from there. They yeah, ran yeah. the table, ran the table. Turns out they, in their little retirement village or wherever they're living down there, they play eight to ten hours a day with each other. So, yeah, no doubt. You know. That's uh, Rochelle De La Cruz. Yep, yeah, I'll update that score. That's. She is uh, a 
pro player out of the Philippines. Yeah, she was here last year, for sure. Yeah, I was down in Vegas for the last time three three years ago, I think it was. For, mm -hmm. yeah. I haven't been there in like 10 years now. Oh, nice what a shot. shot. Yeah. What a shot. So for those that are just tuning in, uh, Kyoko here on the left-hand screen uh, from Japan, uh, originally was supposed to be here on Wednesday, I believe. And uh, immigration wouldn't let her through, so she had to reapply. So she missed her flight for Wednesday. Uh, same thing happened Thursday. Reapplied Friday, knowing that even if she got onto a plane, she wouldn't be here till Saturday morning and that she was going to have to battle it out starting from the B-side. So this is her second match. Uh, she's had about three hours sleep in the last 24 hours. So on top of the lack of sleep, she's also extremely jet lagged. So good on her for still flying in all the way from Japan just to play in this event. On the B-side, yeah. So she spent the last three days in the airport is what Paul was saying. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. So she's doing amazingly yeah, I guess well. Some, Canada's got some new form they got to fill out. Yeah. And get approval, and they didn't know that. Yeah. She got her passport. But it's funny because the, there, there's two ladies here from Japan. The first one got through no problem, but this, but it was Kyoko. They were, they that, were traveling together. Yeah, it was yeah, Kyoko first, that yeah. that got held back. And I guess it was two separate. Nice shot. Uh, border agents or whoever. I guess it all depends who you get, whether they're in a good well, mood or Well, I mean, that's, that's always the case right? when you're dealing with uh, with customs and, in, and uh, immigration. <laughs> 100% correct, John. Yeah, talk about commitment, right? To just, come all the way from Japan knowing that you're gonna you're starting on the B side. And I'll tell you what, so you've got Emily Duddy on the B side, you got uh, April Larson on the B side, now Kyoko on the B side. Like B side is it's a it's a shark tank down there. Yeah. You don't want to go to the B side, stay on the A side. Yeah, it's the old guys you got to be aware of there, yep. Jim. Well, and the knowledge they got, right? Yeah. They got the pool knowledge. So I believe Kyoko He's is now eight. Yeah. Eight one. Eight one. We got hill. Two of the ladies on the hill here. Oh, Rashila just missed that. She had to swerve, as yep. they would say in snooker. Swerve the cue ball into the two, and uh, just not enough weight to get there. Yeah, there's a lot of great ladies here. There's, uh, the, you know what, this tournament is full. You got Bonnie Plowman, uh, both Bev and Joanne Ashton, uh, Kathy Metzinger, Sandy Badger, Emily Duddy, um, Brittany Bryant, Liz Brittany Cole, Bryan, Liz McManus. Cole, Vivian Villarreal. Yeah. Uh, just full of amazing ladies' talent. Yeah, John, that was, uh, it's been a rough week for the Calgary pool scene. Uh, I was there in the room with him when he passed, and uh, I'll talk to you. I'll, I'll kind of talk to you about that after. I'll give you a shout. Uh, sometime this week but yeah it was uh been a rough week for the for the calgary pool scene that was a nice hit by loretta there with the jump shot really nice if that has some legs it can go a little un unlucky yeah a couple inches harder yeah so that puts uh Oh, I think Rash come up short on that five ball. Yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's, I mean. Yeah, Cynthia, we miss you here. I was wondering where you were. The experience you get to even enter and play these these women that uh, and the men where we go too is uh, yeah absolutely to get in the chance to play a professional level player mm -hmm. that's definitely well, worth the entry. And, uh, I mean every second girl that you run into in here is a, a very high level pro lady uh, player like it's amazing. Well, that's like that was the same like I said when we went down to Four Bears with uh, Shane, Corey, and Roberto there. I was bugging Ray, he's going, are you going to play? And I said, only if you'll put me against Shane first. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Bring it. One of those guys. Even I mean, even Mr. John Mora, right? I met oh John. Yeah. Uh, well, I'd love to play John, yeah. I think uh, first time I met John was at the Stampede Bar Box. And uh, to be able to play against a guy like John is, uh, well, and, uh, any of them, right? Whether it's Corey, John, Shane, Jason, any of those guys. Just the experience alone. Yeah, John, you, you nailed it, man. Barry is always an entertainer, uh, always. You know what? I don't know anybody from pro level right on down the list. I don't know anybody that loved the game of pool more than Mr. Barry Huey. Yeah, he always made the room more exciting. Everyone he did, he walked man. Into, yep. You know, and, and that's part of what the Calgary pool scene is going to miss so terribly is, uh, is just exactly that. Uh, the guy lights up the room. He always puts on a show. And uh, yeah, it's been a, it's been a rough week this week. So, Rash got a little bit lucky leaving that eight where it did. I don't know whether. Oh, uh, she can she can cut that eight. It's deep enough in there. Is it deep? Oh yeah. From here, it looks like it's over the horn. No, no, no. So, John, Mr. John, uh, what you got coming up? Where are you heading out to? Oh, yeah, nice shot. Oh, she just didn't hit it hard enough. Well, she hit, a little, she hit, she hit too a much thick. of the yeah, eights. Yeah, a little thick. Here's her. I think you were, last time we spoke, John, you were sticking around uh, Toronto, I think, for a few weeks anyway. And then heading down, down to Texas, maybe? You have to forgive me. My mind is uh, nice shot not 100% here yet. Oh, 7-9 combo for Laurel. Beautiful shot. Beautiful shot. That girl never says die. Never, never. She came back uh, first match? Yep. First or second match? Six Down 6-0. Six nothing. She came back to win on the hill. No, she's uh, staying down in the States now, Cynthia. Yeah, John did really well out in uh, the Canadians. Rash is living in Vancouver. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's right. Yes. Yeah, in Vancouver. Yeah. Uh, yeah, John played uh, the Canadians in, uh, in all left-handed. Yeah. <laughs> so Loretta's hanging tough. He's hanging in there. So there is all the information on uh, yeah, magic, where Rash Everybody's is from. using the Magic Rex. Any? Uh, no, the um, uh, magic racks are part of the tournament. Everybody's using the magic racks. Yeah, all of those uh, player profiles, this is why you didn't really hear me yesterday. Uh, I spent the entire time, I think I was only on the mic yeah, yesterday no, for I a half hour. spent quite a few hours doing Yeah, all those player profiles. I'm still not done. I still yeah. have probably six or seven more to go. Yeah, Grant created the, the info as a picture poster on the phone. Yeah. He was playing on his phone the whole time. 
we email them in and I add them into the program here with that versus graphic and yeah. stuff like that. So, yeah, it's little things we're, we're learning. Like I said, we've only had this program for less than a week. So there's we're barely scratched what this thing will do now. Well, even the even the last one, we barely scratched the surface on what that could do. And yeah, then we had to go it. and update it yeah. and, and get more toys so that I like it. Ryan could be a kid in a candy shop. Yep. Yeah. But eventually we'll uh, we'll get accustomed to uh, to everything that the program can do and only a couple. I still have a few more to do. And you're very welcome, Cynthia. So what is Laurel at here? Oh, shooting the four ball. I think that's a four ball. Top right? Must be. Cutting the four ball. Can she, can she thin that in, do you think? I think she's going to try to thin that in. That was a nice shot by Morrell there. Nice. It's the, it's the comeback. It's a nice wait by Rash on the right hand table there for that six. She should be out here. Far enough to make that nine tough. And with that rush, should be able to uh, thin that nine ball in to win. And there is your winner. Rash takes it home over Loretta. So with that, I think we're going to go over to the single table for uh, for Laurel and Kyoko. Uh, Ryan will change the names and the score on this. This is one of the things. Uh, yes, John, this is live. Um, one of the things that we're trying to become a, accustomed to and acclimated to is the difference in the program uh, in putting up scoreboards that uh, talk to each other. Yeah, they, they used to and they don't now on the old the old version, so. So yes, John, we are definitely live. Appreciate you tuning in again. So Kyoko back at, uh, oh sorry. Laurel is back at the table. Eight three, yes. Eight three, yep. Oh, she just missed that. Just missed that one ball by about a half an inch. Can I give a special <laughs> shout out to the girl who has trapped me here in Texas for the summer? <laughs> <laughs> of course we can, John. You mentioned the yeah. name. We'll give her the yeah, shout out. There you go. <laughs> oh, 
Brianna Martinez. Thank She's you for beautiful. trapping John down in Texas. Yeah, in the hot weather also. Yeah, yeah you poor fella. <laughs> it's a good chance we're going to be down in Texas in October. Yeah, yeah, we'll be down in October. Yeah, uh, I think Houston. John. I think John's only down there for a couple of months, though, if my memory is correct. Last time we spoke, uh, he was going down to Texas to hang out for the summertime. Well, you picked the wrong time to hang out down there. We're, we're going not bad. We're yeah, October's cool, cool going to be. Yeah, now. October's not bad to go down to <laughs> Texas. But man, you're 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 a brave man being down in Texas <laughs> for the summer. Yeah. So Kyoko at the table, shooting the four ball, shaping the five, come around two rails, perfect. Gives her the angle to come back out. Yeah, she wants a little bit. She's got it there, a little left, she can come out one rail back up. Play that seven in the same pocket. Yeah, I think she can just take this. Or I don't she know can if roll she's ahead and play in the side, I don't know. No, nah, she wants to go off the end rail and back out between the seven and the eight ball. Yeah, that's what I thought, uh, John, last time we spoke. Uh, I think you were still in Toronto the last time we spoke. That was only last week. And then uh, you were heading down to Texas to go hang out. So are you going to play any, uh, any tournaments while you're down there? Or uh, are you going to work on the DJ thing? DJ a few tournaments. Yeah, DJ a few tournaments. No, because uh, <laughs> if uh, if my memory is correct, uh, John's DJ is house music only. Ziggy, we got the perfect thing we're going to have come up for you with your game. Yep, we we're absolutely gonna do. We're going to start, I was explaining this a little bit yesterday. Every second Saturday, we're going to set up down in Grant's basement on his table. If uh, you guys want to message us shots you have trouble with troubles with your game stuff like that we're going to get uh grant myself ben and dave we're going to set up and we'll mm -hmm. set up some shots on the table interact with you guys give a few lessons that way how to make a couple shots stuff you got problems with we can set up be a few different camera angles a lot closer than what you're seeing here so yeah we're going to go over things like uh the tangent line throw shots all of those kinds of things so um yeah, oh. it's uh, it, we're gonna go live every second, about every, every second, second, yeah, Saturday, every second yeah. Saturday. So it won't be the same as what you you know you're accustomed to here because we commentate on on uh, on tables and you know the odd time we'll go off on tangent lines, but um, that'll be a little bit more in depth, a little bit more educational. Um, oh yeah. Also, uh, Ziggy, What's grab yourself a sure shot. Six. If you're in Canada, just message us. We can get it to you. They're 25 bucks delivered. If you're in the States, then just go on to uh, the SureShot website, uh, SureShotBilliardSite.com. Uh, go in there, put in the discount code CSLPOOL, all capital letters, uh, and pick one of those up. That, so, to me, is, is one of the most genius devices out there. Uh, it is a step before you get to the DigiQ. Um, and should be in the in the hands and and so on and so forth. Ryan's putting it up right now. Should be in the hands and cases of absolutely everybody from my level, lower level master player, uh, from my level all the way down the list to a novice player. Uh, Hidden spot was looking for a score between Bev and Kathy. Six to three for Kathy right now. Yes. And we'll get well, a couple of rides up while they're waiting there. Here's Elaine, if anybody's looking at buying and selling a house up in the Edmonton area. Yeah. She's the one to talk, talk to. She is one of the best in the business Yes, up in Edmonton. And then, to do with your house, if you want it cleaned, we got Ben's sister, Tiffany. Yeah, servicing Calgary and surrounding areas. Yeah, anybody uh, in the area. Maids. Anybody in the area there wants a uh, little discount on their clean, too, you can type in Francis on their website yep. and between those dates 15th to 27th get 10 percent off well speaking of speaking of the best of them business uh i've heard a few reviews on how they clean 
And believe me, yes. they are the best in the business. And here's uh, BD Custom Cues, Bob Danielson, and of course, Prevail Handcraft Cues, Jerry Pepin. It's Jerry's birthday today. It is Jerry's birthday today. So you can go today. on to Prevail's Facebook page with wish him a happy birthday. Mm -hmm. Make sure you do. Even with uh, yeah. with everybody that we have uh, as far as uh, as advertisers, this is how they know things are working. If you go on there, give them a shout out, let them know that you heard it through Q Sports Live. Whether your whether your intention is to utilize service or not, that lets them know. Hey, look, I'm I'm, I'm getting the attention. For our soccer fans out there. <laughs> For our soccer fans. <laughs> Yeah, James, there's, as much as we've upgraded our system right now, uh, right now we can run four Sony 4K cameras, uh, which is what you're viewing these tables on right now. Um, the cameras are actually sitting back about 20 feet from these tables. So to get that type of a clear picture, um, that's why we use the Sony 4Ks. Um, we can do four of those. We can run up to four um, uh, webcams and then a couple of the remote cell phone cameras. Um, that's why we upgraded the system. But there are things kind of up and above this that we want to do, but those cameras are starting to get onto the expensive side. We're talking 2,400 bucks for one camera. Yes. Um, so it will come, we will get over and get those done. But again, right, everything is built in time. Yeah, these uh, 4K cameras we're using are a thousand bucks a piece. We're yeah, up to the 24, 2500 range with what we want to add next each. So, John's looking looking for a baby over the summer. Absolutely. Yeah, well, maybe. 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 Better, maybe, maybe you, baby. You better better try lots. Well, I mean, they say practice makes perfect, yeah. right? So, we wish you all the luck in perfecting that, John. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, who's at the table right now? Uh, this is right now, Kyoko is at the table. She leads eight to four over Laurel. But again, you can't count Laurel out, man. That girl never says give up ever. Nope. She was down six nothing and came back to win Hill Hill her very first match. And I didn't get uh, oops, minus a couple of these here. Yeah, there's uh, there's a few different types of cameras that we're looking at. Here's Laurel's player player card here. So she's from Edmonton, living in Calgary. It's uh, Stephen Holem's better, better half. half. Yeah, Stephen's her favorite player. Dang, but we were almost in unison yes, when we said that better half. Her <laughs> biggest accomplishment is being a competitor, and she is, as you see on there. Um. <laughs> that, that a boy, John. Way to take one for the team, brother. <laughs> 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 practice makes perfect. You know it. Yeah. And that's something you got to practice a lot. Yeah. So Kyoko at the table. Four ball, two. Looks like the five ball. A little I think far. She way overhit that. Overstroked that. But again, not to make excuses, but uh, we're talking she flew from Japan with about three hours sleep. Well, she's had no practice. No, she went uh, the, the second match. she got here, she was into a match, starting on the B side. Nice hit. Mm, well, well it opens up the yep. door for Laurel again. Right? Fade a, fade a couple yeah, of games, and it could be get it could be interesting. Yeah. Leave yourself on that six ball. I just play softly back and play that. So the six or the seven in this bottom left as we're looking at it. Yeah. Oh, she's looking at top spin here. Oh. Uh oh. Oh my. She went right a little far. I think she's gonna look at this uh, into corner. the side pocket. Thin to win. Oh, she's she's looking at that nine ball. Now here we'll oh go no. Okay. Good. Little good. full picture we were showing Val warming up there. 
Good, good. Okay, so she's going to take this seven and, and slice it into the side pocket. Oh, no, no, she's looking at the nine ball. That's she dangerous. Can it, she can hit it full. That's She'll dangerous. Leave. Don't go in there. Don't go. Oh, too bad. Too bad. What an effort. I kind of figured that might be dangerous to go after that right there. But good on her for the effort. Yeah. Who is playing on the right-hand side table there? I don't know if they've started yet. It's going to be. Uh, I think uh, I think Val was just on she's, banging she's, balls. No, she's going to be on the stream next. Oh, okay. Oh, I think it's Val against uh, Vivian. Yeah, it is. Is it? Yeah. Yes. So Val against uh, Vivian Villarreal. Yeah. Yep. It was so tempting, wasn't it, James? ID number. Okay. Oh, sweet. Nice win for Kyoko. Good effort by Laurel. Well, and to come over and and start knowing that you when you get here, you're on the B side. Yeah. You got to start on the B side. From Japan. Yeah. You you don't have that second life. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I mean, big ups for right for for sticking it out, sticking it through. So this is one of the other cameras that we have set up here. Uh, not sure who's playing. Oh, Tony Sakamoto's down in the uh, far table there. That's uh, Chanel McKenzie yep. on table 13. So we're only about 50 feet away from these tables with our camera. But yep. This is the advantage of having the, uh, the Sony 4K. 4K. With that nice big lens on it. Yeah. Don't like that the camera's off angle a little bit. My, my OCD is kicking in a little bit. I'll have to fix that. Yeah, you can't. That's too much. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that angle. No. No. That's uh, that's no good. I can make it better. No, no, I'll uh, I'll uh, I'll fix it. It's my it's my CDO. Can't yeah. handle it. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad I can't stream that over live while I do that. But uh, score in Tony's match. I can't tell. They're sitting in front of the scoreboard, and we're not allowed to walk over there. Yeah. That's players there's only. Not a, there's not a whole lot of seating. So, this can you see the score in Tony's? Eight six, eight six for Tony. There you go. So Richard, eight six is the score for Tony. Try and get a little bit closer on there. It does start to get a little fuzzy. I'm just expanding the screen is all I'm doing, not zooming the camera, so. And there is Val. Yeah, that's Angela was shooting on that second table there. So Chanel McKenzie is back up. In the green shirt there. So we got Chanel versus Angela. Yeah, thanks, Rick. The only only issue I have is it's it's the camera's on didn't drink its V eight or something this morning. Got a little bit of a lean to it. Those are the only other two tables playing out of all the tables here, so a little bit of a break, I think. I don't know what's going yeah. on. Yeah. Well, is it, uh, what's our stream time running at? Oh, it's only a couple hours. We got, uh, I think we will probably reset for Vivian's. Yeah, I don't think the next matches are, well, let me find out. I'll go find out. Give me one you, second. You got an in with the tournament director. I, I do. Let me go find out.
No, got to make the Caesar, Clamato and, and Vodka. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna log off, guys. We'll be back uh, the next match is in about 15 minutes. We're gonna reset some of these cameras here, so we'll get uh, the brackets posted somewhere as well. There you go, Richard found the link. Yeah. So appreciate everybody tuning in, guys. We'll be back here in about 15 minutes. Um, if you haven't gone onto the Facebook page, make sure you've done that. Click the like and follow button, and by doing so, you'll be notified when we do come back. You'll have the option to join in on the stream again. Uh, point and click easy, same as uh, it was this time when you joined in. Uh, but we do appreciate you tuning in. We'll be back here in about 15 minutes with, uh, it'll be Sandy Badger against Kyoko and uh, Joanne Ashton against uh, Rashida Delacruz. Okay. Cool. We'll see you guys back in a little